<coughs> Hi there YouTube, today we're going to be taking a look to Numshell and Fedora 15 blog blog in its alpha release Here's your blogger with you and let's take a look As you can see here I have my new activities menu um, I'm on the live CD and here we have a dock where we can go and add as many apps as we want uh, or favorite apps um, here we have the Windows um, interface and uh, here we have the apps interface so I can add apps here as you as you can see I can remove apps and I can do all kind of cool stuff as you can see here um, at the bottom are going to be appearing the notifications in Gnome Shell we are not going to have them up here um, they are going to be down here in the bottom and uh, some sort of notification area is here and our standard notification area is up here so that's where we have two notifications area in Gnome Shell areas in Gnome Shell um, a cool thing about Gnome Shell is that if I look for an app, for example, it it open it open a some sort of interface where I can search my apps and and places and also folders and files with that name, or, or also I can go on and hit search at Google or Wikipedia, which which is great. Um, Going to the applications menu, we can see we have only the basic software. Um, we, we do not have many interesting software here, but an interesting app uh, in here is the service pack creator, uh, which is a some kind of backup creator for our package list. I never use that, so I believe it's cool to have it. We also have a fountain for pre-upgrade I believe um, kind of buggy this release sorry is the alpha version so that's that's part of the plan um, um, as you can see here we have our station menu but we are not going to have the restart option in Fedora 15 or in on shell entirely we are going to have only suspend or shutdown another thing that is important to mention is that in the apps we are going to, to have only the close button these other two buttons are going to be disappearing in final gnome shell and that's kind of crappy but well decision of the developers um, i'm not going to use gnome shell i'm a kd user i'm just doing this review for you i don't like gnome shell about Windows and its management we have here for example let's open some apps well I have here two apps for example in one desktop I I can go on and click on my on my app or current app the app I'm using and I'm sure it's going to, to select it for me um, I can also create more desktops or remote desktops in my desktops I can open other apps so, so I can arrange my apps um, as I want and here we have some apps here we have some other apps um, here we have the date and time widget and if we press alt and f2 we can enter a command like a portable command line so that's great or okay runner okay the um, two notifications areas Oh, and let's go. Let's um, see some other interesting stuff here. Um, in previous Gnome Shell developments, we had a, as a control center, we had the Compute Settings Manager, 
but here in this new GNOME shop we have a customized one for this desktop uh, which is great um, I like it for example uh, oh my my right button, button of mouse do, do not do anything um, it, it is useless here so well we have here um, some of the tricks that we can do in system settings just as checking the wallpaper I believe this is going to be the, the default wallpaper in Fedora 15 I'm not quite sure <coughs> um, another thing that is important to mention is that in Gnome Shell um, some apps lack of an icon and we can uh, really customize that because we can put an icon for them and we can we can't go and download some kind of icon theme and put it into the system because um, even even this even this um, the download theme applies to the um, folders and places and that kind of stuff and it will never apply for this menu here um, that's kind of suck that's crappy but well another decision of the development developers sorry um, um, if I go and type put something um, the num shell is going to to search it for me in my computer um, such an apps as apps and <coughs> folders and files and that kind of stuff but I can also search at Google and Wikipedia which is kind of cool um, let's open now, now we lose, um, the file manager from Pornum Shell here you have it with this with this theme all the apps have this theme um, I don't like it very much because it's, um, it's not based on Fedora itself but well it kind of combines with all the non shell stuff non shell is um, is a bit uncomfortable for me at least um, I, as a KD user I believe I'm never going to use this this desktop because it's kind of crappy and I don't like it um, it's uncomfortable um, it makes me sick um, these changes from activities and the desktop and all that kind of stuff is such a mess, I don't like it um, I can't have icons on my desktop that's that's horrible two notifications area areas I don't like it um, the, the changing of the desktops is is awful and well only no shell is just sorry it's crap I don't like it but well as as if you as a user find it useful and find it cool and find it um, functional for you you can use it but I do not recommend it um, I recommend a lot KDE so this is not what I'm looking into um, another thing to, to mention is that when I was trying on shell I had some problems with VirtualBox it it freezed my machine so it froze my, my machine so uh, I'm not going to use it the lack of icons the new arrangement is awful Fedora 15 is going to be a cool release because it's going to have a lot of new stuff new software new new implementations um, many many new things but 
no shell is going to be one of the biggest ones and it is just crap well hope you guys like this video and see you next time have a great life